Hi guys, it's January 15th. The Lord shared quite a long word with me this morning, and he has me in Joel 2, 12, and it says, Rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. And he relents from sending calamity. Um, so I'd encourage everyone to go read on there. And I looked up the word rend, and what it means is tear. Um, and what the Lord is asking us to do, especially in this word and, you know, in these words in the scripture here, is he's saying, you know, tear the flesh out of your heart. It doesn't help you to tear at your garments because that's external and that's not letting him um, really get in there and change your heart. It's just an external action and it comes to, um, you know, the same thing that we've been talking about is trying to change on your own and trying to change your flesh without uh, ha inviting him in to change you. So you can change yourself all you want and you can change your ash actions, but what that turns into is filthy rags because it's you doing it. It's not him doing it. Um, so I'll go ahead and put up this word. It's really long. Um, if anyone has any scripture to post with this, please do so in the comments and please pray about all messages. Okay. My daughter, write my words for those that have ears to hear. Woe to those evil men who operate in secret and darkness to pursue the agenda of the enemy. They will be the ones in shock when their plans are turned upside down by my majesty. Some of the things they plot and scheme to accomplish in the name of evil will come to pass, for some are part of my overall plan. But believe me when I say that they will not know what hit them when I decide to foil their carefully laid plans. For I lay in wait just for the right moment. And just before they intend on releasing their terror, they will be stopped by my mighty hand. For only I allow what I must allow. But many of their plans will not come to fruition. Watch now for the foiled plans of the enemy, for when you see your governments taking credit for stopping them, know that it was me who put my hand down upon them. My children, when you remain in me under my wing, you will remain protected. Stay peaceful and unafraid of whatever comes to pass, and do not let Satan's poisonous darts or fear and deception sneak in through any cracks in your armor. My armor is available to all of my children, but you must learn to use it and use it. Do not take it for granted. Do not take my presence for granted when you wander away from my path. Our relationship needs to be strong and you must nurture it for my supernatural to be of use to you. If you haven't called upon me for months or even years, you will not operate in the same level of spiritual giftings as my children who are constantly seeking my face. Does this mean that I love you any less or that I am trying to punish you? No. But just like an athlete, there has been time for my children to train, time for them to be filled with my Holy Spirit. If you are running on empty, it goes without saying that you will be drawing from your own flesh when faced with times of trouble because your oil will be gone and there will be limited amounts of my Holy Spirit available to those who have not remained in receiving mode. Your actions in this world block you from receiving my Holy Spirit for my Holy Spirit cannot fill a vessel that has this world already taking up the space. Purge the things of this world that are taking your mind from me. Purge the things of this world that are filling up the space in your hearts. My Holy Spirit is a gentleman and will not fight for space within you. You must embrace my Holy Spirit to change you and fill you. The harder you try to make room for my Holy Spirit by the power of your flesh and human reasoning, the less he will be available. So many, of my, so many of my children are trying to work at receiving my Holy Spirit as opposed to just receiving him. 
allow, let, and receive. Do not try to put the Holy Spirit in a box that you've created for him. He will not fit. You must release yourself and submit fully to him. Yearn for him, and he will not disappoint. I love each of my children, but you must understand, my loves, that you are all individuals, and each and every one of you are on a different part of my path. Your construction is underway, for I am building you up in me. Everyone will look different upon completion, and some will be done with their process before others. It does not mean that I don't give my complete 100% attention to the building blocks of each of my individual children. For no two of my children are the same, and no two of us share the same love relationship. Do not become disheartened if your journey does not have you where you think you should be. I will constantly alter you and change you and grow you into my perfect creation. Give up on your ideas of what you think you should be and let me form you into who I created you to be. When you are entrenched in this world, I cannot mold and shape your hearts. Sometimes your free will will get in the way and the process of growing you is slowed. With some of you, I need to overcome deep-seated beliefs and pride. Many of my children struggle because they live their lives ensnared in the lies of the enemy. For you to escape the enemy, he must be routed out from within you. You must be set free in your own minds before my Holy Spirit can build you up. See this, my children. If you are sitting still and not growing in me, what are the things that are standing in the way? Are you still living outside of my presence and outside of my will in this world, but still expecting me to reshape and build upon your hearts? I say again to you, my loves, my Holy Spirit is a gentleman and he cannot create or recreate your heart if it is so filled with the things of this world that he cannot even reach it. Do not limit me, my children, by the ways that you think. I love you, my children, and I wish for you to understand that my kingdom is for you right now. Love, Yeshua HaMashiach.